Hello, everyone. I'm Toshinori Fujie from School of Life Science and Technology, Tokyo Tech. Today, I'd like to introduce our research group. We are working for the nanobioelectronics for real world implementation. Our group is working for nanobiomaterials for healthcare and medicine based on the polymer chemistry and also electronics. For example, uh, our key technology called nanosheet is extremely flexible and ultra thin materials that can be functionalized combining with printed electronics or wireless powering technology or combining with the drugs or cells or even animals and to find out the possible application of nanosheet technology. Recently, we are working not only for the animals, but also the plant biology. And we try to understand the phenomenon of biological systems using our core technology. Nanosheet itself is a two-dimensional bionic membrane with a thickness of tens to hundreds of nanometer, while the size is centimeter to the meter scale level. Therefore, the same film has the huge size aspect ratio between the thickness and the size, resulting in the ultra flexible structure and also physical adhesive property. To this end, without any chemical glues or suturing, the nanosheet can be adhered on the surface of the tissues, including skins and organs. Therefore, the nanosheet can secure the uh, tissue defect and also uh, nanosheet can avoid the post-surgical tissue adhesion. We also studied why the nanosheet showed the, this kind of the unique property, including the adhesive property. We find out that by decreasing the film thickness, we found the increment of the adhesion force due to the increment of the van der Waals interaction. Based on the polymer chemistry and the polymeric materials, we also discovered the variety of the nanosheet components from the conventional polymers, such as a polymetacrylate or polystyrene, to the biodegradable polymers and stretchable polymers, and even functionalized polymers, such as conductive polymers. Our group had the roll to roll process, which close to the uh, printing technology of the newspaper and magazine. By using the flexible thin film, such as a polypropylene pyram or PET film, we cover the surface with water soluble layer and also the polymer solution uh, components of the polymer nanosheet. And by putting these layered structure into the water, we can correct the freestanding nanosheet. Uh, for example, we create the polylactic acid nanosheet, which shows the good biocompatibility and biodegradability. Also, they have the good mechanical property, even with the thickness of 100 nanometer, less than the thickness of the soap bubble, we can sustain the one yen, which is around one gram. Even we can mount more and more coins around 26 layers, which means a 26 gram on 100 nanometer. Therefore, nanosheet shows a very good mechanical property, or as well as they have the good flexible property to be integrated into the tissue. We use nanosheet as the base platform of the flexible electronics. For example, we can develop the tissue adhesive optoelectronics using LED chips, which can be implanted in the body and continuously illuminate the tissue lesion, such as the cancer tumors. If the mice were administered with the photoactivable drugs, the tumors can be diminished by continuous radiation of the LED light using wireless power feeding. Or we can directly print out the 
inductive heating coils on the surface of the polylactic acid stain film. With this technology, we can also paste to the tissue lesion and we can also deliver the uh, heat energy to the tissue. That's called the thermotherapy. By using the flexible electronic systems, we can realize the uh, future uh, phototherapy or thermotherapy. So nanosheet itself is a flexible and adhesive materials. However, by combining the polymers or drugs, we can create the biomaterials. Or by making the nanosheet uh, with conductive materials, we can use them as uh, electrodes, including the flexible electronics. Or we can directly mount the electronic elements, such as LED chips or IC chips. We can use them as a wearable or medical device. So, Nanosheet has a lot of the possibility by combining the variety of the process and the functionalization, which the te food technology can diverse from the biomedical application to the healthcare applications. So let's discover innovative therapeutics and diagnostics with our groups. So thanks for watching. If you would like to know more about my research, please check out the links in the description box. Thank you very much for your kind attention.